ready for the start of the Supercar A final. And it's from this class that this year's British champion will be decided. Revs rise, clutches at biting point, foot on the brakes and away they go. Good launch from the front row. And it looks as though, oh, and Joel Duran is now copied by Liam Duran. A massive roll for the number 46 Citroen. And that is an absolute unmitigated disaster. Just a few weeks short of the car's debut in the European Rallycross Championship. Red flags are out, the race is stopped. But just like Uncle Joel, Liam Duran clipping the tyres on the inside there, squeezed down into the first corner at the start, and a major barrel roll. Like Joel, he is out and OK. But again, like Joel, the car is absolutely wrecked. Well, that is, in terms of British Championship, neither here nor there, because he's not going to be a season-long contender, but he is hoping to be a contender for the European Rallycross crown. And to start his build-up to the championship, writing the car off like that, or certainly doing substantial damage to it, is going to put them right on the back foot. Kenneth Hansen's team will be burning a lot of midnight oil to try and get that car sorted out. Well, dear, oh dear, that is a real disaster. Certainly not what Liam Duran needed to happen at all. Well, it's a copybook replica of what happened to his uncle Joel, another black car on the inside line. And away from the start, Liam didn't get the greatest launch. A little quicker away was Jochen Cox on the inside and David Binks definitely on the outside. And Cox thinks he's clear again. Liam, just a tiny little bit of contact there, puts him out of control. And in fact, just the nose of the car clipped those tyres, but it had exactly the same effect as in the earlier Suzuki race, sending the car into a sickening barrel roll. And again, the hand system, the seat belts, the seat protection, the rollover cages and the helmets, everything else have done their job and the soft contents will walk away from that uninjured.